It's Sunday. Stand by for news. I love Paul Harvey. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Today we're going to go through it pretty quick. We've got health insurance delay yet again, Ecuador loses its appeal, Cuenca's alcohol abuse, the importance of speaking Spanish, earthquake 5.0, higher oil prices, and in the bonus round we've got no potato children. Okay this week yet another delay in the health insurance law was announced. The government seems to believe that the law is unfair and they're looking to suspend the portion that requires insurance of people coming into the country. It said in the news article that this was a second suspension but I mean we all know that there's been many 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 suspension and delays so I, I don't get that but when you pass an unconstitutional law you're going to have problems and They've yet to figure it out. So stay tuned. Ecuador loses its appeal. Now we're talking about a court appeal. Ecuador lost its lawsuit against Chevron Oil for ravaging the Amazon in the Canadian court. So they appealed it. And now, announced this week, they've lost that appeal. One of the biggest problems they have is all that damage was done by Texaco and they're suing Chevron. Aha, but Chevron bought Texaco. Yeah, they did, but they're not Texaco. They didn't do that. And so it's certainly problematic. But what it boils down to is the indigenous people that were pushing this lawsuit and the appeal we'll see nothing out of it. It's an article on alcohol abuse among expats. It had some uh, various stats and figures, but what it really boiled down to is they say that expats drink far more than people in general. And, the, and really the bottom line of the article was to promote the AA meetings, in particular in Cuenca. And the one thing of note was that in Cuenca, there's an Alcoholics Anonymous program. And they say in the article that it's the only AA program in English that meets every single day in all of South America. So I guess Cuenca has a need, or at least an AA headquarters. There was an article about the importance of speaking Spanish. And this we could label under no duh, but it broke down via survey the number of people that took Spanish before they came here, what languages, other languages they took, difficulty in learning Spanish. It was a whole range of things. It was, you know, interesting, but not very useful in general. But I did go through the article and I looked at all these things and based on what people claimed in the survey, you would get the impression that 90% of the expats here in Cuenca speak Spanish. And we all know that's not the case. So uh, I don't know, you know, it's, it's a survey. So the news would be if the survey was accurate, that would be new. Earthquake 5.0, there was an earthquake this week in Quito. It damaged about a dozen buildings. There were three schools that were damaged. There were thousands of people that ran out into the streets. There were a couple kids that were injured from broken and falling glass. This happens once in a while. Uh, not so much around Cuenca because of the way the uh, earth is constructed under the city. But up north around Quito, you get them once in a while. While 5.0 may not be devastatingly strong, it's you know it's pretty it's a pretty solid earthquake especially if you're close to an area like Otavalo 
Imbara and Quito. And that's, and that's where it was centered. So I'm glad everybody up there is safe and doing okay. And I'm glad I live in a place that doesn't have it. Higher oil prices. They say over the last year, because of the increase in oil prices, about double. I believe it said it was around 35 a year ago dollars and it's around $72 right now that because of that the Ecuador has brought in about a billion dollars unfortunately most of that goes off to pay the Chinese loans fortunately they have that money to pay off the Chinese loans and it doesn't have to come out of tax money so even though they're having to send that over to China it's money here that they don't have to send so it's still a net gain go ecuador and now we've got a bonus round of one of the craziest most distasteful things that was in the news i said it was no potato children what we had was a this was in colombia and this girl's family grandmother and aunts and all the women in the family told her that if she stuck a potato up her wahoo she would never get pregnant well in the interview these family members said it was a joke but they didn't tell her it was a joke and so she did that and the potato grew until it became very painful and she went to the doctor and the doctor had to extract the potato and the story came out the upside of the story, maybe they weren't wrong. She never did get pregnant. And that's our news for this Sunday. See you next week. She's a rich girl. She don't try to hide it. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. He's a poor boy. Empty as a pocket. Empty as a pocket with nothing to lose. Sing ta na 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 She got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Oh, oh, oh. Ta-na-na, 